Hello everyone and welcome back for some more High Queen Kalina in Grimhammer and we're about to take the Black Pyramid of Nagash and last episode we used Kalina as a little bit of a strike force she just walked around the pyramid and took out three armies without getting any reinforcements and uh, now we grabbed our other two armies and just we're just doing this as a big open field battle and um, their armies are pretty strong, they have a lot of chevrons and like most of the units are pretty strong and especially the garrison which is basically only tomb guards, monsters and archers so I wouldn't mind having this army, this is a good army but let's just hop in and uh, we should win this I think but we are gonna take some losses okay so where do we have our reinforcements are over here and Oh, they're all gonna come in from here. There is gonna be one lord and some uh, some skeletons over here, but that's not gonna be a problem. Let's gamble before we do anything, because that's... I don't want to start with zero, that's horrible. 19 is workable. So, we basically want to set up over here. We could set up, like, right up on the edge and just... Uh, just try to cram them in there, but there are a lot of stuff coming. There's a lot of like line breaking monsters and all of our stuff is coming over here. So if we just set up over here, our reinforcements are going to come in right away. Once we start killing their stuff, their reinforcements are going to trickle in. Although I probably should have used like small armies in that case, but Anyhow, we're gonna put up our um, sepulchral stalkers over here because they can shoot at whatever comes in and then just pull back because they have 113 speed so there's nothing that they have that can catch us. These guys, we're just gonna line up over here because we're just gonna take all the armies and just smack them up in a big old blob. And that's gonna be great. See, where's the DJ table? I'll put you over there. All the characters over there. This guy is gonna be in the back because we don't want him to die. Boat, gonna put you there. And the shop is gonna be there. Let's see, we're gonna need like a strike force over here. Could do that with like your shop D and some tomb guard. I think that's gonna be good. We can take take out their stuff their stuff with that. So, let's start this. You guys, go and kill that high priest. We don't want their stuff to live. So, look at this. They're just gonna pepper these down. Let's blast that right away. Oh, doing some good damage here. Let's back away. The DJ table is gonna start shooting. Set you up there again, they uh, stop chasing, keep killing. So these guys are gonna kill these skeleton warriors, it's gonna be fine. And those guys are really slow. Yeah, these are this is just slaughtering stuff. This is gorgeous. Oh, and let's bring you up a little bit. Oh shit! Scorpions! Because I want to put a big fat vortex over here. Um, do we have... Okay, you're almost in range. But if we just... Do like so. Just start shooting this. This guy is gonna melt. Look at this. this is... Have a look at this. And half his health, health is gone. Let's back off. This guy is on a mount, so we should be able to just go in and get off a big old vortex right there. I think that's gonna be good. Good, and they're just gonna walk into it. 
Oh, uh, we killed enough for the first... Oh shit, get out of there! Stop them from killing him. Good. Back up. These guys are killing it. Actually, the shop is being slaughtered. Shoot that. Back off. Okay, so. Things are getting close. We should probably focus on this a little bit. So, we just want a fat front line here. Like, doesn't they're not there to do damage. They're just there to hold. This guy put you up there. And let's just line up like so. Just to protect our stuff. So this scorpion is gonna die. That is perfect. You go back. Oh, and the Ushapti is already summoned. Get out of there. Grab you two. Send in. And do we have any spares close by? No. Guess you. Go and fight that. Let's try to get out of there. So at least we got their... Um, their... Um, Oh shit, get out of there. We're supposed to get you out. Oh shit. Swerve! Oh fucking hell. <laughs> oh well, that was. That was real bad. Let's pull you back. This guy's dead yet? Not quite. Okay, seriously. Pull you up. Are these just clumping up? They are. Let's just unselect these. And try again to form a line. And back off. All of you, back off. Just go behind the line. Let, let the... Uh, the um, what you might call it, the cannon fodder do its job. Let's grab. Ah, oh, where is it? There it is. Grab you and shoot that. Yeah, and you start shooting that. Because that is gonna have to go down. You, where are you? Get up here. We need your stuff. Pull you up. Pull you up. Where's Kalida? Get some snakes in there. Yes. And let's get a fat, juicy arrow stuff over there. Gonna be good. Once in there, we can probably. Actually, we don't have. They're not blobbing up that much. Oh, and these guys are dying. Okay. Let's. Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, let's kill the archers. You pull back. Let's help you heal, because we don't want to lose any of those unnecessarily. <laughs> like we lost our caster unnecessarily. But he's immortal, that's fine. I know he is. He's been with us since like tur turn one. So he is 100% immortal. Pull you back. You don't need to be up there. Shoot that. And if you can. How unlikely is that? Get up closer. I am vengeance! We can shoot over there. Obey me. Blow in on that. That's pretty okay shot. These are dying, so I mostly want to do this, but stop moving. 
do like that. There we go. We got the, the white vortex now. Let's put that there. Send you in like there. Bring you up a little bit so you have more stuff to shoot. Okay. Let's just take a peek at stuff, see how things are working out. You really need to get out of there. I don't want to lose you. Don't have a restore yet. And let's just put you up like that. We're just gonna have a little breather. You are fine. Please get out of there. So we can send Kalida in. Let's use that to get a banishment faster and let's shoot over there. These guys are dead. Send into skeleton archers and that's fine. Okay, start shooting over there. Kill that. Run that in there. Unless you're actually fighting something. Not a fan of these tomb guards, but... Chariots! Ha ha ha! Suck a chariot. Oh, I mean suck chariot. I'm not, I'm not attacking the chariot. So, you guys, let's get in there. And take attack. Heal that thing. You get out. Get, get to safety. And start bombarding those screaming skull catapults. They are doing a lot of damage to us. Believe it or not. Oh, of course they're shoppy there. Um, start shooting the, the shoppy. Just need to kill them. Our front line is basically secure now. Let's grab stuff we want to keep around. Oh, shit. Our tomb bark. No! Live! I need you to live! Let's plop you over there. Are you okay? Um, withdraw you. That is a lot of damage and I don't approve. Send you up there. Horseman. Come on. Withdraw. These guys can also withdraw. Please don't die. I am very invested in this right now. I think he's gonna be okay. And that gives us some more reinforcements as well. Okay, well, these are gonna die, that's fine. You, you should start shooting at just that. Serpents are fine. They can die for all I care. These are okay. Kill that tomb prince. Don't care about skeleton warriors. And their catapults are gonna go down. We have an opportunity to fix our front line. You guys, get out of here. Don't. It's not that I want you to necessarily survive. It's more that. Well, you're not helping right now. This guy, these guys are dying. That's good. They're dying quickly. Especially thanks to the stalkers. And you can withdraw because I don't want you to die. Basically, just... If... Um, oh, they're so fast. Wait. Ah, uh, this can be dropped too. Let's send out some chariots. Because basically if they're not fit to fight anymore, then they have no business being here. Let's just 
line stuff up here. Withdraw. Two up there. And yeah, that's fine. So, why are you not attacking? What's your deal? What are you shooting? You're shooting at this. That's an okay target. You. You should be shooting at this disruptor breaker. And you are. Good. And this seems to have be having a bad time. Some of these are still okay, but... Let's run some uh, chariots into them. Let's see. These guys are still okay, so let's just ram them. Actually, I want this in normal speed. There we go. They're trying to brace, but they're not bracing. Haha! <laughs> Die, suckers! Pieces of shit. Drift into the, into the rest of them. So, that was pretty good. I wish these guys would stop crumble. I hate that they crumble after after the um, well, the battle is over. They just I feel like they just stick around to spite me now, and because this guy is dying. And I think we got all the stalkers out, the ones that need to go out. Um, the tomb bark is okay. And all of our characters, except for the caster, is dead, uh, is alive, but the caster was 100% immortal. So it's fine. Okay, tomb bark. Yes, he's still there. I was a little nervous, but it's fine. So, what else did we lose? A bunch of skeleton warriors, don't care. Some skeleton archers, really don't care. And yeah, some more skeleton warriors and archers. Kind of expected. We did lose the Uchapti. Unfortunate, but not a big deal. That is a good win. I'm, go I'm gonna say that. And I love that it's based on this little army. So we get 70 gold and I guess 12 uh, replenishment, but 70 gold. For all of this, we'll take the jars. Thank you. You can walk in, actually. No, oh, okay. You can walk in there. There we go. Thought anyone could, but we didn't have much movement. But the um, pyramid is taken. We got some more tomb scorpion. And uh, can get some tomb guards. Ooh. They have Vault of Nagash as well. That's a good one. Get a lot of magic power from that. That's great. So. Kalida needs to recruit some stuff. Head. And, I mean, we can get rid of these because now we can front line with uh, Tomb Guard. And I'm gonna get two Tomb Scorpions as well. It's fine if we only have two archers. We're gonna have four, four infantry units. These are gonna, gonna gonna go away, and we'll take the tomb scorpions. Good. Oh, and there's a lot of stuff we should have done to the black pyramid, I guess. And this guy. Let's uh, let's get the worship of Jaff. Gives catch the replenishment and recruitment rank. Oh, we should grab recruitment rank in uh, this army as well, but that's fine. Oh, this guy level. And I guess fast protection, invasion. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get banishment before we get to the vampires. Oh well. This guy. Now they had restore and all that, so that's fine. I guess we'll just get the combat stuff. A loyal servant. Um, you're actually the steed guy, so that's that's great. And 
guess melee melee attack is good and the caster with actual spells that's well not actual spells the other ones got spells too but actual high high level spells that is vortex because vortexes are so good in campaign oh and we actually already moved these guys this turn he could move longer further oh and uh, man Skaven is just amazing in this campaign. Like the orcs are usually the like the boss, but this might be some Rictus as well because they start over here. Don't know how Rictus is doing. Don't think we've talked to them any, have we? Do we know about them? We don't. So we haven't actually seen any of their armies. And they actually only have eleven settlements, but yeah, that makes sense. These eleven, I guess. So, let's pass. Oh, we have a little research to do as well. Um, we'll do this next turn. So this turn, let us... I would like to have that because like, if I had Necropolis Knight still, but I don't. Line of sight isn't bad. Local recruitment capacity is... I feel like I should have gotten that a while ago because I'm recruiting a lot. Maybe we should just get that. Let's get that. It's, we should have gotten that a long time ago. It would have saved so many turns in recruit in recruitment. Shemri is not ready to upgrade, so pass. So let's have a quick little look here on the campaign victory. We need a Necropolis Knight. Which we can get. Uh, we have Black Pyramid of Nagash. Five of the following buildings. Oh, we need to... Oh, no. We need to upgrade a bunch of those things. We need two more of these. One over there. Can take that from the Bretonians. And these two. And the humans got that one. So, I guess we need to... How many of those did we need? The pyramids. Five of them. Well, that's some bullshit. They're the level tier 2. Sick. No, they're tier 3. Ugh. Okay. So, let's... Yeah, so let's stop taxing some of these. Let's see which ones. These got some pyramids too. Let's stop taxing that. These have two different pyramids. Numas has one too, right? Yeah. So I guess. We need to do this as well, but let's just get the tier 3 here first. Yeah, that's good. Any other pyramids? Because we need 5. Bagar. Oh, there was 2 in this province too. And some Sandry as well. We're already not taxing here. And you're not. Okay. Let's uh, trigger that. Just gonna click that forward. Well, in, in before, and I, I'm gonna assume that this is where it pops up again, because it's done this every time. Oh, and that's oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see. That is some pretty nice bonuses for Kalida, and we're not even at at max. Also, um, Scream! now that we have some move trade, so we can get rid of those two. Move, but not yet. And we should have some more capacity now. Oh, one more. So, three turns. That's acceptable. We're gonna need some replenishment anyway, so... Fool. Yes, you can get some Nekarans. 
you can get some archers. I guess you can get some some of those too. This is gonna take a while, and we'll we'll balance those archers around. It's gonna be fine. Is that everything? I think so. That's oh. Yeah, I think we lose this. This guy is... Oh, this guy isn't expendable, though. Do we lose this? Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do with... This is only chaff. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's unfortunate. I wanted Sandry. Okay, so that guy died. That's unfortunate. But... I mean, one upside with it is um, we can get a lord over here. This guy is prepared. He's ready. Let's get that guy. He's just ready to get down to business. And... I don't know. Good marcher. Can put you on a horse. I mean, realistically, this is what he's gonna have. So let's give it to him. And let's just give him some scorched bones. And start getting conqueror. That's fine. Submit to your Not a big king. Because you're basically here to get these things. You can grab some of those. He's just gonna transport stuff. Get some of these, a bunch of archers. And let's get some carrions as well. He's gonna sit here for eight turns and just hang out. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, ethereal stuff. Do we deal any magic damage? Nope. Nope. Well, this guy does. <laughs> oh, and these does. Too bad we only have two of them. But, I mean, they'll target down the can rates. So it's it's going to be good. Submit to your king. Okay, so this guy is gonna Strive do like that. Um, let's send over like so. Yes. Because this guy is going to reinforce. So I want the catapults on this guy. So they can shoot as much as possible. So they don't have to walk up and prepare. So let's see how this is going to go. We have... Whoa, wait, hey, oh. Oh. Whoops. Stop this, legions. Um, your king, so, no. Do not betray oh, your shit. King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. No. Okay. Um, since we are going to fight next turn instead of this turn, maybe we get one of these. Like, Tomb Scorpions, we have four of them, so buffing them up would be pretty strong. And it would, would help our battle quite significantly. We can also get... Oh, there it is. The Ushapti. And that will give them Frenzy. And the Great Bow will get range. That's pretty strong too. However, Frenzy only works at 50 plus leadership, I think. And the Ushapti doesn't have great leadership, right? Oh, um... Yeah, 57. That is not very impressive. Uh, so, maybe... I think we go for the Tomb Scorpions. We are getting Tomb Scorpions in Kalida's army as well. So let's get that. And while we're spending Canoptic Jars, they have a lot of ethereal stuff. Maybe we get some magic damage weapons. This one is magic too. Maybe that's just worse. Which ones do magic? 
Most of them do magic. Yeah, they just keep doing magic damage. Oh, I wish we had. Oh, I wish we had gold statuettes. Bound banishment would be amazing. Oh, and there's two of them. Oh, I want that. So this one is fine. I mean, that's not a big buff. Plus five, plus five isn't horrible though. What does Blade of Setep do? Oh, it debuffs physical resistance and armor. That's not bad. That could be good. Is it an area? Target enemy 100 meters. Seems like it's single target. And uh, bonus versus large is fine. So maybe we grab this one. Can get like two of them. One for the Tomb Prince and one for the Tomb King. Because we are going to want to... To... Um, buff up our guys anyway. Although maybe we will take one of the Blade of Setep. Because it is, it is a good debuff. And that's a pretty good amount of armor piercing. So, yeah, let's let's grab this one as well. That will be fine. I wonder what else we have. I haven't looked at the stuff, the gear that much. So, you are ranged. So, maybe... Yeah, that's not a lot. And... Uh, Brass cleaver. Oh well, that's we're really gonna want that on the front line. So, none of those. Hey, yeah, just bla uh, just armor is fine too. And we can give this back to Kalida later. Helm of Discord, however, is really good, and we want that on the front line. Cloak of Dunes. This is not desert, so <laughs> this won't do anything except. Well, we could give stock or. Sp unspottable to something uh, but oh that's to self yeah he isn't getting anything really oh but we can give him a banner yeah let's do that sure we can give it back later any others that affect combat doesn't seem like it oh, it's just a lot of wound recovery time yeah okay so Tomb Prince. They have served me well. You can have Helm of Discord. It's just a really good helm. Let's give you... Oh, Brass Cleaver is good, but... Let's give you Magical Attacks. And... I mean, Fiscal Resistance. Meh. And um, you're gonna sit in the back anyway. You, you don't need that much gears. This guy is probably gonna sit in the back. Oh, actually gave him that stuff. Well, you can have the brass cleaver. Cause you're gonna have to stay out of the way a little bit anyway. Cause you're not, you're very squishy. And let's go to the other army and the tomb king here. You can have some armor. Yeah, that's fine. You can have the Blade of Setep. And I guess you can have that too. We're gonna have to... To pimp these guys out. Oh, and... Um, let's see, is there any caster item that we want to give? No, not Enchanted. The Arcane. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Trickster Shard. That's pretty good if we want to stop them from casting. And it reduces our miscast chance and gives us some more... Oh, and less cooldown. Oh, oh, um, you're the right. You're the light priest. Let's uh, let's give you the trickster shard because was there actually no? There's nothing. Right, and uh, nothing here. No, it's just a lot of highborn. But um, it's the other. There, this guy, him. He is definitely going to use this. This is so good for him. Um, because we are going to want to basically spam this. This is all we're going to do. 
And that's 87 second cooldown. And minus 30 seconds plus minus 10%. Well, I think that's already calculated because it's probably 90 seconds. So every minute-ish, we're going to be able to to cast the the Vortex spell. So that's going to be real good. So, let's hope we flee. Actu actually, we just do like this. And retreat. <laughs> Of course, that's how we get loose. Um, go sit over there. No. I was freaking out because I couldn't get get out of there, but I figured I was stuck in this. But no, of course not. No. I'm stuck in her no. aura. No. Stupid. So let's. Uh, Cease. If she attacks, I wonder if we. If we take it, because we won't get the research or the gear if we stand and fight. So I think we're gonna run if she attacks. But she might not attack because we do have a strong army. So we'll see. Okay, so apparently we have a rebellion over here. I didn't notice that, but I guess I was too focused on, uh, on our upcoming fight. Should have turned off the taxes, but eh, it's got not gonna matter. Could have gotten golden idols here, but eh, it doesn't matter. Speaking of, let's start you and Kemri. Let's start you. Now we're gonna be able to get some golden idols. So and uh, we have actually been spending a lot of time preparing this last turn, so I think we're gonna save this beautiful combat until next episode. Oh, and right, this this banner. Um, what do we put it on? Do we rather have it on a, a shop day? We might, so we can shoot down the dragon. And they are, they are pretty decent in combat as well, so I think we'll put it on, on a shop day. And um, I didn't notice that she was on a dragon. Maybe I was just unobservant, but... Or maybe they just put it on now, at the end of the turn, so that's another... Another little handicap we're gonna have to live with, not being able to attack right away. But we did get stronger thanks to gear and, well, a big buff to our Tomb Scorpions as well. But, let's not drag this out any longer. Let's, um, we're gonna end the episode here, and the next episode... We are gonna end these guys, and hopefully we can actually win this fight, because this is a tough fight, because these are all really strong. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did consider leaving a comment and subscribe, and I will see you next time, bye bye!